Hey, uh, real quick, before we do anything, I got two things we gotta do. I do a really bad podcast called Cut the Tape, and for like the last six years, there's been no intro to it. So Lucas is gonna record everyone, and on the count of three, I need everyone to say, Cut the Tape, and that's gonna be the intro to the show. Okay, so one, two, three. Cut the tape! Lucas, did you get that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. <laughs> welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. This is the last cut the tape of the year. We made it. We made it. I made it through the holiday season. All my orders are done. I'm still waiting on people to come pick stuff up. It's the 24th, it's Christmas Eve. I got like a couple thousand dollars under the counter. People better come in and get their stuff. Pay me my money. All right, so what are we doing today? Well, I got, you know, I saved something special. It's the Santa Prime. Maybe, maybe we'll get to the Krampus Perceptor, but then I have something really big that's not Transformers and I saw it, it was at a TJ Maxx, I saw it. I'm like, wait a minute, I've never seen that before. I hit it up on Amazon, hit it up on eBay. Like, oh dear God. This thing's selling for 130 bucks. It was uh, 59, $59 or $69, $69. And, um, and I walked around and I came back. And I'm like, I, I, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. Anyone who knows me knows I'm building a 16 and a half foot long USS aircraft carrier, USS flag from GI Joe in my basement. It's 16 and a half feet long, six and a half feet wide, holds 25 Sky Strikers plus. So we're, I found something um, and it's, it's not Transformers or Joe related, but it's something that I can customize that's gonna work perfectly with the aircraft carrier. We'll get to that in a second. It's very unexpected. Very, very unexpected. So, Santa Prime. First of all, when I saw this box, I thought, boy, that looks like somebody just took the flap and bent it down to wrap it for Christmas. And I kind of wish they had done that because it kind of would have been perfect if they took the flap on all of them, bent it, and then put it into the shipping box. Because that's how we all got our Transformers when we were kids. The flap was bent so that people could wrap it. Way smaller than I expected. <laughs> I mean, this is way, way smaller. I mean, this thing, it must be packed in there tight. Uh, so... It's got a two from on it. Notice on the artwork and on the photo on the back that the blaster is not attached to the trailer. We'll get into why, we'll get into why. So this is the first of its kind, Holiday Optimus Prime. I mean, it's Santa Prime. It really is Santa Prime. It's not, you know, it's how, it, why call it holiday? We might as well just call it Christmas Prime because it's got a Santa hat on the Autobot symbol, right? It's obviously decorated like Christmas. You know, if this was a holiday thing, there'd be some kind of Diwali, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, like menorah or something on here as well, celebrating everything. That's a holiday. Even the, even the flaps are decorated. Well, it's a very nice box, I'll say that. It's a very nice box, very appropriate. Instructions, copyright thing. This is what the third party guys, uh, they don't know how to read. So they see this and it has all the copyright information on it. But since they can't read, that, that's why we have so much third party stuff because they didn't see the thing in there. I forgot how tiny this was. Goodness, that is a tiny trailer. Um, seeing this makes me wish for a Hess truck crossover. 
I think I would have preferred the Hess truck than the Santa Prime. This is one of those things that's like, where does this live on my shelf? You know, like where, where exactly do I display this? Because it doesn't fit anywhere, right? It's not part of the storyline. It's just a one-off. And there's nothing wrong with having one-offs. Does it go on my, oh, I guess it'll go with my crossovers. It's crossing over with Christmas. All right. Yay. Yay, there it is. All right. Why is the blaster, the candy cane ion blaster of justice, not included in the artwork or in the back of the box? I mean, I think they made a good choice with that. <laughs> Oh, they made a good choice by not. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway. Ooh, look at it. They spared no expense. Look, look at the white privilege. <laughs> look at that. They, woo, they really spared no expense. I mean, think about it. That's a pain app. That's a pain app. That's a pain app. That's a pain app. These are paint apps, right? So all the paint apps went to the outside. Happy holidays from Optimus Prime. He should have had the Santa hat and the beard. If you know, you know. Once again, I'm transforming things on the show. I don't like to transform things on the show. One, because, uh, you know, I I'm not as quick as I used to be. And two, uh, arthritis, you know, sets in and you're like, oh, my hands, my hands hurt. And uh, that's, you know, I've been toying with the, with the notion. Do I, do I stop this? Because because my hands hurt so much. And uh, the answer is no. No, even my own personal health is not enough to stop me from collecting. What does that say about me? Anyway, now that we brought the whole room down, I mean, do I really need, you get the idea, look. Do I really need to transform both legs for you? What, what, what am I, all right, I'll give you some commentary. So, for being a one-off, it is, it's between being tight and being a little loose. It's, it's in that sweet zone. It's in the sweet zone of, all right, this, this will work without, me causing uh, to be frustrated that it won't stand up on its own. Let's let's give it the test. Will you stand on your own? Yep, he'll stand on his own. Man, well that's not good. It's been a long time since I've. Oh, this figure. Anyway, Santa Prime. Santa Prime, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. If you're agnostic, if you don't celebrate anything, there's the belt buckle. It's okay not to celebrate anything. It's all right. If, if you're sad during the holidays... You know, that sucks. That's sad. But. 
somewhere out there, there are people who care about you. Always remember that. I care. I care, and if I can care, and I mean, look at me. If I can care, then you can care too. All right, well, we're gonna forget Krampus for Scepter. Well, maybe we'll get to him. All right, so a movie came out. It was a great movie, not a great, it was a, it was a good movie. It was a good movie. Came out, bombed. I'm talking Buzz Lightyear, Star Command, Lightyear. Not the direction I thought they were going to go with the story. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Watch it. Watch it. You'll be entertained. Watch it. It's it's not... It's, I mean, it technically is a kid's movie, but it's somewhere like... Is Shrek 2 really a kid's movie? Anyway, so... Back to the aircraft carrier. These are really really nice all right and i'm waiting for these to go on clearance because they're i think they're 50 bucks which is all right but if you're going to troop build them i need them to go on clearance this is his ship right it fits your gi joe's great your three quarter shows fit perfectly in here right another thing that fits your gi joe's perfectly is the uh, mobile armor suit, the Exo Squad thing from Avatar. But this looks like, you know, I could paint this and I can put this on my aircraft carrier and I can make a GI Joe. What I wasn't expecting was this. Ugh. They have a whole launch play set for the thing. I've never seen this advertised. I've never seen it for sale anywhere. And then I get to, oh, it wasn't T, it was Marshall's. And it was $69.99. Now I could resell it and make a profit. But I don't, I'm not, that's not, you know, nothing wrong with that. I'm just thinking this is something that would be really cool for my aircraft carrier. There's no tape on it, it's blue. I got a feeling I'm gonna really like this. And then I'm gonna have to buy it some more. All right. Lots of assembly required. Oh yeah, this thing definitely needs paint. Absolutely needs paint. Oh, it's gonna get painted up. So this all assembles into a launch pad for the fighter. I mean, this is like some 80s G.I. Joe, like nostalgia right here. Like this could be a G.I. Joe weapon, a, a G.I. Joe base, this could be a Cobra base. I mean, I'm not keeping the box for this one, so. Ugh. Man, I'm not cutting the tape, I'm ripping the box. All right, somewhere in here, I think Jin Urso hid the plants of the Death Star. scaled to fit G.I. Joe's. And it seems to be pretty intuitive the way it, it goes together. Or not. Oh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. All right, all right, we're, we're 
we're getting there. We're we're getting there. This goes this goes on the back. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I'm very much a look at the box and uh, see what it does type of guy. I don't want to pop it in all the way because I'm worried I can't get it out then. And uh, I definitely need to paint this. Got these little wings. It's got little wings on it. Cause Red Bull gives you wings. Oh, the wings. Wings attached. They're not wings, they're they're antennae. Alright. So here's the basic thing. Alright. I mean, tell me, like looking at this. This is perfect to customize for my USS flag, right? We got an observation port, right? Perfectly scaled. Looks like it lights up. We have stuff that deploys out of here. Let's see. It's definitely a different color than, than what it is. So these come down here. That, that goes there. Oh, I see. These are supposed to slide. It's gonna take some messing around with. Man. I mean, it's not bad. For, you know, 70 bucks, I'm gonna customize the heck out of this. Into something for my GI Joes, right? This is the exciting part for me. Oh, perfect. Dude, look at that. Look at that. That is exactly... Oh, my God. This part alone, like, forget this. This part alone, imagine you got, like, three or four of these lined up on the deck, right? And that's how you launch them. Oh, dude. Oh, that is great. That is some, that is some high level. I mean, this is like defiant level stuff. If you're a Joe fan, get this, customize it. It's, it's going to be great. It's absolutely going to be great. This could be a Cobra vehicle. This, this could be, you know, you can make this into a, a shark. You can make this, uh, you know, a, a new Rattler, whatever you want to customize this into, you can. Oh, man. This is going to be great. Batteries not included. This is, this is absolutely great. Ooh, I love the fact that it's got wheels on it. And then you can launch. Oh, 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 look at that. Look. Oh my God, that is great. That, that is absolutely, that's killer. That is a play set. That is a play set. Really good job with the amount of plastic. 
bad job advertising it because I didn't know this existed. Never saw this in stores until I was at a Marshalls. Wow. Well, Merry Christmas to me. And this is really great. This is a great vehicle too. Waiting for these to go on clearance. I'm gonna buy them all. I'm gonna buy them all. Hell, I can even customize these to, to fit with my Star Wars. I could do, there's so many possibilities for this. Well, thank you so much for watching Cut the Tape. It's, it's been a crazy year. Um, heading into the second year, uh, you know, past, you know, yes, I, heading into the second year, full year of having the frame shop and the art gallery. I'm going to have a big, big surprise for you guys. Our first episode back, a big surprise for you. Keep that in mind. So, Wash your hands, register to vote, get vaccinated, and enjoy your holidays. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. And once the kids settle down, build your Legos and find some time to cut the tape.